This is my 2006 Tacoma. It has 237,000 miles on it, and I don't believe the transmission fluid has ever been changed. So we're gonna do that today with the pump sprayer method. So we're gonna jump right into it, hit that like button, and let me know how many miles are on your truck and if the fluid stinks. We'll need to remove the grill for easy access. You'll have some clips and some bolts. Take off these bolts, take off these screws, 10 millimeter or a Phillips head, and then the grill should lift right out, just like that. You may have a couple clips here. Mine are broken, and they just kind of break. Here is our transmission cooler. We are going to disconnect it from our transmission lines. And if you don't have the tow package, you still can use the same method. You just have to undo these lines under here. So your overflow plug, those lines there. A little more difficult, but still doable. So that what happens is we're gonna start the truck. It's gonna pump out the old fluid into a bucket and we will have new fluid going in feeding it. So we will be bypassing this for this portion uh, and then we'll reconnect it when we're all through. I'm gonna zip tie this up out of the way so it doesn't leak. And we'll take this other one off and tie it off as well. Now I have some 3 8 inch inner diameter hose that we're gonna put on here. And this is going to go into our bucket. So I'm just gonna clip this on as a snug fit, I'll tell you that. And we're just gonna put it into a bucket. And then likewise, we're gonna do the same on the top. Down here, just to make sure I don't make an awful mess, we're just going to clamp this to the edge of the bucket for both ends. Now what should happen is when we start the truck, transmission fluid is going to pump out into this bucket and we'll be able to see which line is the out, uh, which is the pump out. Let's do it. Yep, there we go. So we know which one is which. All right, so our bottom is from the transmission out. So this is coming, pumping all this fluid. Doesn't look as red in here as it did out there, but it's perfect. So we're gonna pump out here, according to this chart. We're gonna get up a little bit more. And then we're gonna put some in this and just go right in to here. So start the car for about seven seconds, eight seconds. Okay, that was about 10 seconds. As you can see, we've pumped in quite a bit more. With this bucket being our waste bucket, we're going to pour our fresh transmission fluid into this bucket. Make a little bit of a mess. Also, I start using this in this video, uh, but don't use that, it sucks. Go to Harbor Freight or Walmart and get this just hand transfer pump. It uh, has the right diameter hose that fits right on. And we're going to be using this Harbor Freight transfer pump. Okay, now that we're hooked up here, we're gonna take a look at our measurement here. And we're just under two liters or half a gallon. And then up here, and we're gonna wanna pump in right at half a gallon. We're gonna pump in whatever we take out and then some at the end. So we're just under a gallon here. Let's go ahead and get it down to right under half a gallon. So a little update, this pump is very slow. I uh, don't recommend it. We're down under our gallon, so we've replaced what we've removed. So we are going to start the truck back up, uh, get it going again, get some more out, and then fill it back up. We're still draining, but we were just under half a gallon. And now we're up above well, about 
three quarters of a gallon right above there. So we have about three quarters of a gallon to fill with our ATF. And we are trying to harness the power of my friend here, gravity, to try and help this flow out. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's definitely not good by any means. Due to several things in my control, we're calling an audible and we're using a manual transfer pump because that Harbor Freight pump is taking the rest of my life to do. So I'm just gonna drop this in here. It's much faster, more labor, but much faster. Okay, I'm going to run the engine a couple more times. We are at two and a half gallons, which comes out to roughly 10 quarts. Um, so we have two more left of bad from the truck, but we have to fill some more in. So we're just gonna pump, you know, about three quarts in here. This is more work, but it's significantly faster. And here I am with this thing doing this in 95 degree weather for you. For you. Another three quarts pumped in. Let's go ahead and finish this off. I wanted to show y'all here what's coming out. It's nice and red. So we are pretty much clear here. We just have to fill the last up, last bit in, uh, and we're good to go. We are on the final bit here. Oh. Well, that didn't work. That sums up my life right there. Ugh. With our drain and fill procedure done, let's go ahead and hook these hoses back up. All right, put the bottom on. Okay, bottom one on. I'm just gonna take this top one, put it on as well. So in your truck now, you wanna put the pins jumping pin four and 13, done. Then when you start your truck, make sure AC is off, lights are off. Your dashboard should be lit up. So we got cruise, uh, seat belt, um, ABS, everything's flashing. You're gonna take your foot on the brake. We'll go drive, neutral, drive, neutral, drive, neutral, drive, neutral, drive, neutral. And there it is, back to park, AT oil temp. And a other scenario, yours might blink and then disappear. And then that's letting you know it's getting up to temperature. The ambient temperature is something here that we're going to, it's like 95 to 115. Um, it's 95 out right now. This fluid is probably at the correct temperature. So we're gonna get underneath the truck and undo that overflow plug. Now to help you easily find the transmission overflow plug, we are on our passenger side. Say hi. Come down here on your creeper. Say passenger side. And you're gonna follow that to right here. That's your overflow plug. So you wanna make sure you grab a pick and you're gonna clean this out and make sure there's nothing in there because it is a five millimeter hex and you want that thing to sit perfectly. Truck is running, AT temp light is on. Now we're gonna come down here and undo our overflow. Make a mess again. And we want this to be a trickle. Look at that. Perfect red, that's brand new fluid. Like I said, we're gonna leave this till it's trickled. And you have to leave the engine running. You cannot do this when it's stopped. It will flood. All right, we're pretty thin here. This is not much. So I think we're gonna give it just a bit more. Yep, just like that, perfect, just a trickle. All right, let's close this up. And be careful with your exhaust. That's right here, it's hot. Uh, tighten this by hand and just kind of put in perspective this is what we drained out 
and that's what we put in. Um, so, as you can tell, we are a lot redder than we were. So, I'm going to get all this cleaned up. We put the grill back on, and then we're done. And that concludes this video. We used about four gallons of uh, this Valvoline Max Life ATF. Four drugs from Walmart, about $25 a piece. Highly recommend uh, overpaying a dealership or a mechanic. Do your own work. It's just better that way. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. And also...